Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we discovered that Safa is raising an orphan, and we've got a mission to now buy the house in Istanbul to start an orphanage. Now, if you remember last time, Master Howell said that we need to get 791 gold ingots in order to buy that house. It's a lot of money. Uh, the money is actually determined by um, how much you currently have. So if you, if you don't have a whole lot of money when you go in, um, then the price is cheaper. So, but still 791, that's a lot of money. So, here's what we're going to do. First thing we need to do is we need to get a plan together. Figure out how we're going to get the money. Now, the first thing we're going to need is that tax-free that tax free permit. So, I'm going to start by going to Istanbul and getting a tax-free permit. Meet you guys there. All right. I'm going to go see the king and renew our tax-free permit. Now, the plan is... How do you get the most money? You trade gold. Fortunately, there are two ports nearby that sell gold. So we need to drive down the market rate, and we're going to definitely get a deal with taxes, with a with tax-free permit. And yes, thank you very much. Good. Tax-free permit. Let's see if we can get some gold. All right, another six gold bars. That's going to help. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to... Um, I'm gonna meet you guys, or I'm gonna go to Amsterdam and pick up some glass beads. And the next thing I'm gonna do is meet you guys in the port of Madeira, which is just to the southwest of Lisbon. And um, then I'll start the process of trading gold, and I'll show you that. Okay, I'll meet you in Madeira with a couple of boatloads of glass beads. Okay, folks, we made it to the port of Madeira. And I'm going to show you a couple things here. First off, I'm going to show you that I bought two boatloads worth of glass beads because they're going to help us do what we need to do. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to transfer some of my cargo. And I know this is going to be weird that I'm unload might be a little strange that I'm unloading food and water. But I'm but what I need to do is I want to uh, get a bunch of free boatloads. Like I want everything to be nice and free. And let's put some water there and some food there. And some water there, and some food there, and the rest of my food here. Okay, now I have three full boat. I'm gonna have three full boats, um, free rather. Okay, now we want to go here to the market. Now the market rate right now is at 101 percent, but we're gonna change that. We're gonna sell our glass beads a hundred at a time, and I think you've seen me do this trick. But I'm going to try and drive the market down as low as I possibly can. And the reason for that is, um, what's going to happen is, then I'll eventually be able to buy gold for really, really, really cheap. And we're going to buy a ton of, we're just going to buy a bunch of boatloads of it. And we should be able to get all the way down, I mean, to a very, pretty much non-existent, you know, market. Okay, it's below 74, so guess what? We're going to do it again. We're going to knock it all the way down as low as we can. And I want to say 70% is the lowest. Uh, let me just make sure that's right. Nope, I can apparently knock it down even lower. I didn't know that. I actually don't know Actually, don't know how low I can knock the market down. But this is good. That means we're going to get gold, we're going to get gold for really, really cheap. Yep. And I'm, I know I'm destroying this port's economy, but eh, for the good of the game, we're going to do what we can. Okay, we've dropped the market down to 58%, and we have a tax-free permit, so this should be unbelievable. Yeah, I could buy gold for 413 gold pieces, but of course we're not going to buy it for that much. And as a duke, we get an incredible discount. We're now buying it at 206 gold pieces, and that's a pretty good deal. So we're definitely going to buy three boatloads worth. Now, gold, uh, the gold price does shoot up, but again, you know, for... For what we're, we're, what we're going to be able to sell it for, this is an incredible deal. Yeah, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this stuff back up to Amsterdam and rinse, lather, and repeat. Um, what you could also do is you could also go up to Santa Cruz, which is just to the uh, south of here, and um, the market is still fresh there. So you can do the exact same thing that we just did, and uh, you'll be able to make a ton of money. So, okay, we're in good shape now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head and check this out. So what you're going to want to do now is go to your log of goods, 
and Amsterdam is going to give us a good price because we just bought a bunch of glass beads there. So what you're going to do is we're going to go up to Amsterdam and then we're going to sell part of our gold. We're then going to do that, ex well, then we're just going to sell our gold, buy some more glass beads, and then just do that this trade route. And if we do it one more time, we should be able to get 791 gold ingots. So I'm going to do that off screen now that you know the process. And I will actually guys, meet you guys back in the port of Venice once I've accumulated enough gold. And I've shown you now how to do that. See you guys in Venice. All right, folks, we made it to the port of Venice. And as you can see, I've accumulated 804 gold ingots. It only took me one more trip um, after the trip that I just showed you, buying more glass beads and selling them in various ports in Northern Europe, which gave me money. So let's... Let's go buy that house from Master Howl. All right, let's go up. I've come to see Howl. Just a moment, please. Proper protocol. All right, we've got the money. Let's sell all the accounts. Perfect. Wait, what? He's giving to us for free? So you're telling me that we did all this work to get 800 and, you know, 791 gold bars. He's just going to give it to us? Hmm, you let me test you. Do you remember what I said when we first met? When you become a millionaire, life seems kind of empty. Well, I'll tell you what. Viewers, if you give me a million dollars, I'll tell you how empty life becomes. <laughs> Why have I tried to make this much money? Oh, so Howell doesn't really have a purpose. He kind of just sits all day and counts his money, apparently. Won't be easy. Yes, that's true. You suggest that we quit our dream after we, uh, um, after we raise 791 gold bars? I don't think so. Oh, he's been thinking of turning it into an orphanage. Oh, that's cool. So go. The children are waiting. That's awesome. Well, good job, everybody. Well, only one thing left to do now, and that's set sail for home. And I'm going to go ahead and show you this video because there's a few items of business to discuss um, as we head back to Istanbul. First, I want to let you guys know um, that... If for some reason that you need more money, like if you need like 1,500 gold bars or 2,000 gold bars, what you could do is you could continue to do that trade route for a while. Um, you could also do some trading from where gold is um, the specialty in the market, such as Veracruz or Rio de Janeiro, and just do some trading between there and Europe using several boatloads of gold at a time. Um, that's a quick way to make some money. Uh, you can do a trade route between um, um, Japan and um, one of those ports from Safala to Japan is another good one. Silver and gold exchange there is another good one. So I just wanted to tell you about that. The other thing I want to tell you guys is that I'm actually going to be taking a, about a week-long hiatus from LPing because I've actually got a big graduate school audition coming up next week. So I'll be taking some time this weekend to get ready for that and stuff and kind of start fresh next week. But um, All right, folks, it's time to wrap this thing up. So let's go into the cafe and tell Ladia that we've done it, that we've managed to buy the house. And there's the crew waiting for us. We finally bought the house! Yay! That's wonderful, isn't it, Safa? Absolutely. Thank you too, big brother. And we found our long lost sister too. Absolutely. Look at well, that was very quick for uh, Salem to start saying, "Hey, lady, let's go take a look at that." Or er, Safa, rather, let's go take a look at the house. Yeah. They better not get any ideas while their big brother's living in that house. Come on, everybody, let's go. And off they go. But why aren't Allie and Ladia coming? Ladia, aren't you coming? Well, it was your suggestion. She said, let's go. Who, me? What would you say to moving in with us? Is that a proposal? Wow. <laughs> let's go to our house. That's awesome. So now Allie and Ladia are going to get married. Let's go to our house. All right. That's awesome. Ali finally accomplished his dream, the orphanage. That's excellent. Well, viewers, it looks like this is the end. Um, it's been a great getting to present this walkthrough to you. And just like I said at the beginning, I managed to get it done in under 20 episodes. I'm going to upload some bonus episodes uh, tomorrow, including the ending. And um, the Duke scenario, which uh, you never got to see. So thanks for all of you that have tuned in. And until I begin my next scenario, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.